Chapter 1. He adored Kelowna. He idolized it all out of proportion. Uh, no, make that he, he romanticized it all out of proportion. Yeah. To him, no matter what the season was, this was still a town that existed in black and white and pulsated to the great tunes of George Gershwin. Uh, no, let me start this over. Chapter 1. He was too romantic about Kelowna, as he was about everything else. He thrived on the hustle-bustle of the crowds and the traffic. To him, New York meant beautiful women and street-smart guys who seemed to know all the angles. Ah, it's corny. Too corny for a man of my taste. <clears throat> let me let me try and make more profound. Chapter 1. He adored Kelowna. To him, it was a metaphor for the decay of contemporary culture. The same lack of individual integrity that caused so many people to take the easy way out was rapidly turning the town of his dreams. No, it's gonna be too preachy, I mean. You know, let's face it, I wanna sell some books here. Chapter one, he adored Kelowna. Although to him it was a metaphor for the decay of contemporary culture. How hard it was to exist in a society desensitized by drugs, loud music, television, crime, garbage. Too angry, I don't wanna be angry. Chapter one, he was as tough and romantic as a city he loved. Behind his black-rimmed glasses was the coiled sexual power of a jungle cat. I love this. Kelowna was his town, and it always would be.